Rai Games is trying to fix the Sunder Katarina build because it's like a, a build that is strong if you're like really far ahead to the point where you get really unkillable and it's like unhealthy for the game if you're too far ahead with it, right? But it's also really sad because that's the only way that Katarina is like kind of viable a lot of the time. Forty four, forty seven. What? Wait, I didn't get my dagger reset before I flashed. I'm actually griefing. Basically, they're trying to fix the Sunder build path. Essentially, what they're doing is instead of attacking the item itself, they're attacking Katarina, which makes no sense. And what they're doing to attack Katarina, instead of attacking Sunder, they're reducing her dagger's AD ratio, bonus AD ratio, from 75% to 65%, which only really attacks her early game. It's the only way she can do anything in the early game. You should not be attacking her early game, but whatever, they're doing that anyways. Her E AD ratio is also getting lowered from 50% to 40%, but to compensate for that, they're adding in 5 base damage which i guess is good i think it's actually a buff to it and then what they're doing to her ulti is they're they're adding on three percent more on hit effects right now it's 35 percent on hit effect damage at rank 3r now it's gonna be 38 percent katarina has she has an ad ratio on her ulti but the ad ratio is actually increased based on her attack speed so currently, like ever since they added on hit, on hit effects, the AD ratio has been increased based off of 80% of your total attack speed. They're changing it so now it's instead of it, it being 80% total attack speed, it's going to be 166% bonus attack speed, which is really good because that means if you build on hit items that have like AD and attack speed in them, you're going to do a lot of damage. We're going to go on PB later anyways and test some builds out, but TLDR, the, the build for next patch is probably just going to be on hit AD items. Okay. So right now our ulti does 848, we have lethal tempo, our runes are not fully stacked, that's fine, I don't want to fully stack them anyways. Nice. Our, our ulti did like 2500 there. Our Bork and our Kraken there did a total of 650 each. So that combo there, yeah, was like 3k or more. That one took 4.7k for some reason, and every other one took like 3.5. Maybe it's because my E. But yeah, your R insta prox tempo. But yeah, you can see just for the people that are coming in. So our ulti right now is 1456. Uh, it scales off of a bonus, bonus attack speed, 166% of your bonus attack speed. Lethal tempo at this level, you get 13% per stack. Stacking up six times. Let's try this. Yeah, look, 1925 from our ulti. Let's get Hydra. Let's see how much a full combo will do with Ravenous Hydra. We did 4.3k. Actually, that's um, that's more damage than last one. And our Hydra itself did 1,300. This might literally be a better third item than with Sense. Plus, you get Omnivamp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. Okay, well, let's see how much Kraken Slayer damage actually does, okay? Let's check. So, we're at 76.23 right now. Three targets, full combo. Watch this healing. Watch this healing. Well, we don't have Ravenous Hydra anymore, but, but yeah, watch this. This is why you'd be going Lethal Tempo, is because it gives you bonus attack speed and your ult skills off of bonus attack speed, right? So we get 15% per stack, stacking up six times. What people don't know on Katarina is your ulti will fully stack Lethal Tempo. It always has. Yeah, and you get movement speeds. I don't know, dude. Maybe PD is good. Maybe we should swap out uh, Ravenous for Titanic. The whole point of this is just to find like the best build. I mean, we already know Bork and Kraken are good together with Witsen. Oh. 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 Hello. Oh wow. Damn, I actually almost died there. Ah! 
Nice. Oh, oh, close. Oh my god. Echo you me so P Nice. We gotta fight. Yes. Get him! Go, go, go! He does 2600 physical damage. No! This build is so fun. Guys, I'm very tanky and I do a lot of damage, it appears. Oh. Oh, Belveth! That Zeri disappeared off my screen. Oh my god! Okay, wait, the Belveth does damage though. I had to save him. Oh no. Hold on, can I carry though? Can I 1v9 here? <laughs> okay, our Bork has done 17,000 damage. With 7k, crack at 8k. Yeah, with just PD stacked, our ulti does 40, 50. 4,050 damage. Okay. Okay, so if everything's stacked, our ulti right now does 5k damage physical, and that's not applying all of our on hits. 
So we can assume our uh, ulti will probably do like 8,000, 9,000, including all our own hits. If we include it. Maybe not for that much, maybe just 8k. I'll just end. That was a good test. So yeah, full build with lethal tempo fully stacked and six items, I guess. I mean, because we had PD, no boots. Our ulti does uh, over 5,000 physical damage. That's not including Bork on hit, Wit's End on hit, Titanic Hydra on hit, Kraken on hit. It's just 5,000 damage from the ulti itself. We did over 100,000 damage that game. That was a long and a fun one. A lot of testing of our limits.